Joan says I look like a sex offender. I asked her not to improve my image. <laughs> Go away. Dad, wait, Dad, Dad, did you lock the liquor cabinet after she fell? I did, I did. <laughs> Good. You don't want her getting a little <laughs> nip here and there. Okay, guys. So we're stressed. We're, we're are we looking for feet today, Anne? How are your feet? Feet are, are better than sometimes, but I always love feet. Okay, so we want some feet for Anne. Yak, how about you? Legs and hips. Legs and hips, okay. Aunt Kazma, what about you? The relaxation sounds like a good idea. Okay, relaxation. Mm -hmm. And then Tracy, how are you doing? Okay, um, my back, you know. Okay, low back. <laughs> I was with Tracy's mom yesterday and we did a session and she did very well. I. It's so funny, your kids, Devorah is, Anne and Yak's daughter, and she looked at the video just to check up on how you guys were doing. So she said, I had to look. It's kind of like when you look at your kids, you go into their school and watch them behind the glass and see if they're doing what they're supposed to do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you, I have good reports for all of the, the, the children whose parents are doing yoga. Your mom was good and obviously doing uh, Devorah had excellent things to say about you and 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 Yak and and then Aunt Sandy. What about you? Can I do anything for you today? Relaxation. Relaxation, very good. And oh, do I even want to ask Aaron? <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> well, Aaron, but usually you say cardio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Gwen told me to be quiet this morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can whisper it, and I'll I'll hear if you whisper or if you just blink once if you want cardio. <laughs> oh, <laughs> blink! Oh, it's cardio time. Okay. And, and Gwen, how is your back? I know you're. It's okay. It's okay. I'm fine. Um, how is your mom? She's hanging in there, hanging in there. So. Very, very good. Okay, so let's sit. Let's you ask me. Oh, yeah, that's right, because you already gave your report. Everybody has a little <laughs> section. Okay. okay. Yours. Okay. On yeah, so, oh, the, the, the bell. <laughs> okay. okay, what do you want if you want to add something? Oh, the, the falling, the movements, the... Okay. Balance. Okay, very good. Well, let's just sit up tall on the edge of the seat as you are in your chair to Dasana. And what does that mean? You're really sitting onto the sits bones, those little bony protrusions right at the base of the um, low hip juncture. So lean a little to the right. And fish around, pull the butt flesh slightly away from that left sit bone. You'll feel a, a hard little round nugget. And so you're going to thin, take your butt flesh a little bit back and really sit down in there. And then move to the left and pull a little bit. Find that little, that little round bone. Pull the butt flesh of the right glute slightly back and then sit down there. Now see if that didn't give you a grounding that introduces a better hold of your spine. Now, squeeze your butt cheeks up and in, and just see, even without trying, if you squeeze your butt, you can you lift up off the chair a little bit. So when we have low back pain, some of it's attributed to the back chain of the legs, these glutes, these hams, glute me, all of that being weak. So place your hands onto the outer edges of your hips and continue to squeeze and firm up into your glutes and feel how that fires 
these outer hips, right? So there's a lot, if we did nothing else, but sat here and clenched and unclenched our hips for about 20, clench, 19, clench, clench, unclench, squeeze, release, squeeze. So you're just squeezing up in your glutes, <laughs> squeeze. It should be pretty laborious, squeezing, squeeze, squeeze. And what you're gonna start to feel is that your butts can do more than be sat upon during these chair classes, right? So you really can use those muscles. Now, let me add a new task. As you squeeze your butt in, push your heels down, right? So your heels are pushing down. And then let me add something in even there. As you push your heels down, take your hands from your hips, put your hands on your inner knees, take the inner thighs apart with your hands, but the thighs have another idea and they're trying to shut. Now squeeze there, squeeze, unsqueeze, squeeze, unsqueeze. Are your butts fatiguing? Yes. Yes. <laughs> what does that yes. tell you? You're not using your butt. You're not using your butt cheek muscles. So this butt cheek muscle is important not only for posture low back pain, but also we're pulling on the outer hips, introducing the shoring up of the hips with calcium, right? So the pulling and squeezing and the dragging against these hips, it's giving the body informational data on where to rest those calcium deposits. From here, lean back, hoist your right leg up and off. And then with the right left underneath, begin to round your back and shrug your shoulders slightly forward. So you're using your right leg as a stretch mechanism for the back ribs, back shoulder, all that. Rest your right thigh up and over the left. And let's have a twist with your left elbow across the right knee right hand to the back of chair, and then steadily walk the right hand to the left and twist and twist and twist. Mm -hmm. For an added bonus, clench your squeeze, your grip your butt in again and see what that does, right? Only two people on the class really notice anything. Us ladies, we don't have family jewels, so there's no tourniquet effect, right? But this is actually very good. This is good for prostate health. So squeeze on in there and twist. And then come out, hold your left hand around your right ankle, lean back in the chair a little bit, and then swing your right leg over, start to touch towards the floor with your right hand. Good. Now let's say your right hand can touch the floor. Hold the leg of the chair. Hold the seat of the chair. Good. So holding left hand holds right foot on Casma. Kicking the leg over. Hold the leg of the chair with the right hand. Come on, show me this outer flank of your hip. And then right ankle, left knee. So let's do something a, a, a kind of tiny bit different pull all of the four toes towards the wall behind you. And then gently, gently kind of prod your right toe towards me as the other, right, or the other four toes go backwards. Just feel that. And then bend and straighten your big toe, the big right toe. So it's back and forth, back and forth. And then revolve the foot while holding steady your heel. So make the revolving foot separate from the heel right there. So you're just moving it around. So even though the foot is a hinge joint, it wants so much to be a ball and socket. So it does have a little bit of give in that way. But we're, we're really just, we're really focusing on the other four toes. Okay. Now from here, flex your toes towards me, but the fingertips are pulling back 
towards the wall behind you. So you're really, you're really mushing back on those toes. Right hand is holding the right heel gem. Toes are pulling back, so we're stretching the whole top of the foot. And then flex your toes back now and pull back on the toes with your right hand. Hug your left hand onto the left heel and flex your foot a lot. So it's a big drag backwards. Now from here, keep the flexion of the foot. Show me the sole of the foot and start to lengthen your foot towards me. So I'm resting my right thigh on top of my left. It's just a big forward, forward fold. That's it, Aaron. Good. Lift up your leg on Sandy. Good. There's the socks I love. Excellent. Bombo. The bombos. Good. Tracy, lift it up. Flex the foot more and more and more. And then right ankle, left knee, hands to the floor, hands on the thigh, whatever you can give me. We're here for 10 breaths. Closing the eyes. Inhale. Exhale, folding deeper. Inhale. And certainly the shoulders can melt a little bit more. Your fingertips can jangle and hang heavy. Part your lips and move your lower jaw there from side to side. Now while you're cascading your fingers forward and down, we're not gonna spell out everybody's name, but just let that right foot revolve sideways Circle patterns, clockwise, counterclockwise. And now take yourself upright, hold the right hand, sole of the foot, right hand, and then twist to the left, twist to the left. You might even get sometimes with these deep twists, a chiropractic adjustment. So as you coil your left shoulder back, you're moving your right hip, right knee to the right and twisting. And as you twist, sit up taller and spool in on the belly button, taking the belly button to the left side. Great job there. Come back. Let's start clench and unclench. So it's just squeeze, release, squeeze, release, just the glutes. So just get used to doing something active. So even though you're sitting, there's a lot of work that you can do. You can sit with intention or you can slouch. You can sit with your shoulders back and away from your ears or you can round and hunch and let your head fall forward. So we know that the head shifts the vertebrae in the neck in uncomfortable ways. When we keep our head hanging forward like this, it stresses the vertebrae of the neck. Align the ears back with the shoulders. Sit up tall. Are you still squeezing your ass cheeks? Come on, squeeze them in, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Now push down through the feet, squeeze and push the feet. This time, instead of keeping your feet flat, come onto the balls of the feet, okay? So you're on the balls of the feet, right? Your feet are still down, but you're up a little bit. So the heels are off the floor and you're squeezing. Now add those fists, take the knees together but the fist will not allow it. Squeeze, pulse, squeeze, pulse. This is very much inner, subtle, slow, tiny work. Pulse, 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 pulse. It's like you're riding a little horse. Bump, 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 bump. Squeeze, squeeze, 10, squeeze, nine. Come on, squeeze. Everything should be getting sore and fatigued in those butt muscles. Mm -hmm. And then mercifully lower the heels to the floor, pick up your left, hold it in, hug it in, and then just bend and straighten, and bend and straighten. Now 
know, use the left thigh to bring your back body to the wall behind you. So the left leg is moving to me. It's trying to get free, but the arms are dragging back. So this is an extreme cat. Round your shoulders, move your thigh towards me, Aaron. Straighten your back, move your nose towards your kneecap on Sandy. Lean in, good, good, good. Feel that stretch in the back. Deposit carefully your left thigh over the right. Left hand back of chair, right elbow, outer left knee, and begin to twist and twist and twist. And then from here, right hand, left ankle, left leg straight over to the right. Hold the chair leg, tip sideways, hold the floor. Come on, touch the floor, Aaron. Lean and straighten that leg on Kazma. Hold it. Left hand, seat of chair, floor, leg of chair. Kick the left leg to Victoria's bed, Tracy. Come on, Gwen. Good, yak, stretch, stretch, stretch. Hello, outer IT and glute, all that. Turn your torso, look down at the floor. And then use core, woof, come on up. That was a long hold, you did very well there, you did very well. Okay, here we are, we're back on the second foot. So. We're dividing and conquering. So these four little toes, let them come away from the rest of the, the family and let that, let that big one stay forward. And then just kind of poke it, poke it towards me as you dial the rest of the toes backwards towards the wall behind you. Your left toes, just, you're gonna, and then be, rem be astonished by how this big toe mound fires and connects to the arch of the foot. We could put podiatrists out of business if you would just lovingly work on your feet every single day. If everybody in the world, and it's no, just in the United States because our feet are shoved into shoes and we don't move them enough. So it's just that pulsing back and forth. And now try and flick your toes towards me, but the fingers won't allow it. And then reverse it, pull the big toe away and then let the other four flex forward. And then start to dig your thumbs into the arch of the foot, hold that shape, and then flex all the toes back, hold the base of the heel and begin to revolve those toes back, forth, side, side, around. Now switch hands, let the right hand hold the, the left heel and let the left hand hold this big bunch of toes and manipulate using that push and pull. Oh. So let the toes go opposite direction of the heel. Clockwise, counterclockwise, all in there. Ankle to knee, drop the hands to the floor, spiral your left toes into the wall on the right side of the room. So we're not drawing the names. Good, Yak. We're not drawing the names on the side wall, but you are certainly still actively swirling your left toes to the right side of the room. Come on, drop on down. Go forward. And then twist the left hand to hold the sole of the left foot, right hand back of chair, and turn your ribs. Mm -hmm. You might get a little chiropractic adjustment when you're rolling your left ribs towards the right side of the room, 
twisting your right shoulder back. Gently cinch the belly button in. Beautiful Gwen, looking all the way over your right shoulder. Perfection, everybody. Here we go. We're starting with the running in place, very slow, very slow. You might even imagine playing hacky sack. Up, up, up. Start to lean backwards, letting your back rest onto the chair. And it's slow, it's slow. We have 199. We're gonna have somewhere between what Aaron wants, which is cardio, and which the rest of you want, which is relaxing, right? So we're going to have relaxing, slow, painful, relaxing, slow, painful cardio. This is really hurting your hips. I know this is bad on your hips, Joan, I know. If you need to stop at any point. Okay, so that's our first set. We have nine more sets. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Keep going. Four, three, two, one. Eight more, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Seven more sets of 10, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Six more sets, 10, nine, eight, slow it down, seven, six, five, four, three, two, okay. Let's break our sets up, knees wide apart, hands on inner thighs, shrug the shoulder to the floor and twist. Shrug the shoulder to the floor and twist. Guys, do you feel this band? Not only are we working the glutes, but we're also working into the hips. From here, angle your right knee to the side, dip your left down. So turn sideways to face the wall on the right side of the room. As you drop your left knee towards the floor, lean back, lean back, touch your left hand to your left Achilles tendon. Woo! There's that opening up of the psoas. Good job, everybody. Left hand forward, bowling a strike. Left leg way back, take it straight back and then bend, touch the Achilles tendon, lean back. Good, so this is half camel pose. And then we're swinging, bowling a strike, left leg back, left hand forward, reach in two directions, come back, tag the heel, lean back. Good, keep going, stretch, forward, lean back, stretch, Forward, lean back. Keep going, let me watch you. Bowling a strike with the right hand and then reaching back and then, good. Lean back, that's it, Yak. Come on, touch your Achilles tendon, Amp. Reach back for the heel, Aunt Sandy. Keep the chest and chin up, Aaron. You got it, Aunt Kazma. Keep going, guys. So when Joan asks for a way to fall gracefully, this is, this is a movement like, oh, I'm starting to fall. So, so, so be, be aware that this, is, this might seem kind of silly, but when we fall, we start to lean back and then it's this muscle that's gonna be there to kind of catch you and then go again. So this is you falling forward, touch the left hand to the floor, you fell that way and then fall backwards, touch the left hand to the left Achilles tendon, you're falling there, and then falling forward, touch down, and then going back, all the while you're anchoring yourself on the chair with the right arm, okay? This is all good and well, 
Now, let me see the left elbow sweep across the right thigh, hold the back of the chair, twist to look over the right shoulder. Lean, lean. It's a big twisted lunge. Good, straighten the back leg on camera. Good, 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 good. And then spiraling on out of there. Let's sit tall. Hands on thighs, shoulders back. Little tiny mandarin orange on top of the head, right? So think of one of those little oranges on top of the head. Close the eyes, sit up tall. Two minute meditation. Breathe. Are you still squeezing in on your glutes and sitting up very tall? Are you relaxing the shoulders? Feeling the feet grounded? Mindfulness, staying present, being in the now with all of the chaos that swirls around us at any moment in time. Worrying over the future, ruminating over the past, brings a sense of discontentment. Being in the now with the breath, quieting the mind, Certainly you can breathe a little more deeply. Notice the texture of the breath, the temperature, cool morning air going in through the nose, warm rinsing air leaving the body. and then blinking the eyes to open. Let's go to the second side. Turn the knee, left knee out and over. Mm -hmm. Swing the right leg back and feel that. So first call to action is the right thigh hanging perpendicular to the floor. Are your left toes facing the wall to your left? And then reach back, find yourself touching your right Achilles tendon. Anchor there your hand onto the chair and lean back. Now, lift your chest a little more. This is called camel pose. This is a half camel pose. And then stretch forward your right hand, lengthen your right leg back. And then come, reach back, touch the heel. Let's get a stretch again. And then go forward with your right, back with your right, right hand forward, right leg back, and then swing back. Oh, touch your Achilles tendon and lean back. Come on, reach it and touch it. Go, yeah, good, that's it. And then come forward with the right, back with the right, come back with the right hand holding the Achilles tendon. Keep going like that. Let's have it back. And forward. So on these first few, we're playing with gravity, anchoring our left hand onto the chair. And using the muscles, not only in the back, right, for Tracy's back, but this is also front core. Who's going to fall to the floor now? Taking the right hand down to the floor and stretching. And then reaching the left hand back a little bit towards the floor. I mean, the right hand back. And then the right hand forward and reach. Go slow to mimic the state of falling, right? And as you fall with control, you realize it's nothing but core. It's nothing but you toppling your center of gravity, and then trying your best to use all the little muscles. Your butt muscles firing, your left heel digging into the ground, your left hand 
holding onto the chair. Your right rib spinning. We have 10 more. Back and forth, back and forth. Keep going. Touch the floor with the left, stretch back. When you touch the floor, good. That's it, Yak. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Now keep yourself aligned, riding side saddle onto the chair. Extend your right leg back. Reach your right hand over and right elbow across the left knee and then twist from there. And turning your torso, leaning, leaning into the chair and twisting. A twist or cleansing. It's like a tourniquet effect for the back ribs. It helps rinse out toxins. On the inhale, come on out. Face forward to me. Hold the chair. Lean back a little bit. We have 50 more runs in place. Yes, 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 yes. Do not. That's not, that's not an acceptable response. Here we go. Up. Slow, up, 10, mm, nine, go, eight, seven. Why did we do that? Work on your feet, for your feet to come up and look slovenly, no. Your toes must stay spry and splay apart from each other. That's six more. This will be two sets, four, three, two, one. We have 30. Mm, 29, 28, go, 27, 26, go, 25. You're on mute, so I can't hear you, and nor do I care to hear you, because whatever you say, unless, oh my gosh, this is so much fun, not interested, keep going. 15, 14, go, 13, higher, 12, kick it, 10, Go, eight, seven, six, five, woo, four, go, three, two, one. Knees wide. Hello, how was that? It was really you doing very well, guys. Rocking from right to left and left to right. Mm-hmm. Close the legs, swing to the right. Let's go for boat pose. Hold the back right armchair, left hand here, pick up the legs. And then half boat, feet down. Again, hold the chair, lean. You could face the other direction, Tracy, if the bed is in your way. Half boat and down. Good, lean back. This is also falling. Whoa, I'm falling. Maybe you touch the floor with the left and put the feet down. Now let's say that's too much. Let's say you don't wanna do that. If you go back and forth with your feet on the floor, cross your hands at your chest, and then just recline a little until you feel your core start to grip and then come back, that is also a wonderful modification. Tap the floor. Feet down, tap the floor, go to half boat, go down. Let's see. Good. That's it, I'm Kazma. Good, Tracy. That's it. Keep going. Good, I'm Kazma. Excellent, Yak. Mm hmm. Good, Anne. Keep going, guys. You have eight more on this side. Yes, I know, I know but I don't care, I don't care. I'm very cruel. Ah, and then come back, sit tall, hands on knees, knees together, and then like a snake coming out of a basket, roll the spine, roll the spine, roll the shoulders, roll the spine. 
Let's get a little bit into the neck before we go to the second side. Right hand heavy, left hand up over the ear. Cradle the head gently, tip the head to the left. We're opening the right side of the neck. Now, if you feel good here, that could stop. Otherwise, hold the right hand underneath the seat of the chair and tip more to the left. Ooh, there's that whole side of the neck. Then bring the hand to the base of the skull. Tuck the chin into the chest. Move the head from side to side. Now let the left hand stay on the right ear, but lift the left elbow up, fall to the right. Fall over and down to the right. Who feels a, a gorgeous taffy stretch right into the left side torso? That could happen. And then take your left hand to me, turn your left thumb down, and then move your left arm over, over to the right. So it's an, it's an internal rotation. Yeah. And as the left hand is trying to go towards the television, the right arm is not letting it. Look to the left. Lean to the right. Good, good, good. And then come back through. Attach your left hand to your left shoulder. Spiral that shoulder out. And then make me a figure eight. Back, forth, forward, back, opening. Hmm. Let's go to, let's go to the second side. Left hand hangs down, right hand holds up and over the head. So we're opening up the left side of the neck. Leaning a little more. And then hook your left hands into the base of the chair. Head onto the back of the neck and move from side to side. So go a little bit more lean. You're gonna feel some really good stretching. And then keep the shape, but go up and over towards the sky with the right elbow down to the floor with the left hand. So opening the right torso. Good. And then coming up to sit, right thumb down. Uh-huh. And then punch the right arm over to the left. Let the left arm take the right arm to, right arm is moving to the left and twist. So it's as if you're trying to push the right arm to me but the left arm will not allow it. I really want to feel that into the shoulder, neck, ribs, keeping that twist. Right fingertips attached there onto the right shoulder and spin, make me circles, a bat wing, then going back and forth, back and forth. We go to the second set of core falls to the left. Angle the knees to the left. You thought I forgot this. We have 10 of these. Boat, half boat. Here we go. Here's boat. Half boat, touch the floor. And go back. Now, if that was too much, who remembers the modification? Hands across heart, feet on the floor, and it's back and forth. Back and forth with the torso. Otherwise, you're falling and, and reaching back and touching towards the floor. Seven, six, tapping. Five, four, bring the knees closer to the chest. Yak, three, good, and two, and one. Wonderful. Facing forward, knees wide, hands on inner thighs, shoulder dips here, shoulder dips. Okay, let me test, let me test your butt cheeks. And I can't feel you because that's a violation of your sanctity as yoga students. I'm not, it's not that type of class, but I'm gonna know you're squeezing your butt cheeks because your right eye is gonna shut and your left eye will be open. That's gonna indicate that you're squeezing your butt. Now lift up just a little bit off of that chair. So I should see a little bit of air right there. And then hold the reins of that little ant that we were just riding. And the ant is bumping along and it's touching the chair, come up. Touch the chair, come up. Touch, bounce, 
touch, bounce. 20, 19, 18. Straighten your elbows, Tracy Glasgow. Relax the shoulders, Tracy Glasgow. Lift your chest, Tracy Glasgow. Everybody is Tracy Glasgow. She's not the only one with that formation that is incorrect. Straighten your elbows, Joan. Your aunt is too big, Joan. It's a tiny hand, guys. Is it up here? Guys, everybody stand up. Stand up. This is not the size of an ant, okay? This is like a large armadillo, okay? So you're on an armadillo, then lower down maybe to a possum, maybe to a squirrel, maybe to a chipmunk, maybe to a little salamander. And you killed your, and killed her, her horse. Stand back up, everybody. Stand back up, okay? Don't kill your animals that you're riding. Here we go. Bend the knees, large possum. Bend the knees, armadillo. Bend the knees, little bit of a chipmunk. Bend and the tiny, you're on a tiny ant. Now, pulse up. You kill, up, oh, come to stand. Aunt Kazma killed her animal, come back to stand. Guys, are you killing animals? Everybody stand up, stand up. Let's do it again, hands on hips. Bend the knees a little bit. Bend the knees, you're on an armadillo. Bend the knees, you're on a squirrel. Bend the knees, you're on a chipmunk. Bend the knees, you're on an ant, but you are not sitting on the chair. You are not sitting on the chair. You're not sitting on the chair. You are not sitting on the chair. Okay, Aunt Kazma, it's okay. She killed her animal. Let's all stand up. Let's one more time, one more time. Come on, get up in there, hands on the hips. Here we go, last time. Ben, wait, we're waiting for Joan because she went off screen. Sometimes she goes and gets a drink of water or hits the cabinet. So we gotta wait for her to come back. Here we go. Lower, hold, lower, wait, lower. Now, once you're here on the size of a small chipmunk, squeeze your glutes pick your heels off the floor, work your toes, and come into this shape. Heels up, toes down. Your animal's too high, Glasgow. Get lower, your animal's right there. And then mercifully, oh, sit on down. Guys, we've been shrink wrapping your whole legs. Stand, put your hands onto the chair, stick your butt way out and swing your hips from side to side. Yeah. Woo, guys, do you feel like you've got some new Spanx? Yes, you feel like we shrunk wrap your underwear. <laughs> Good, we're gonna get in there. We're gonna get some, some lovely, lovely awareness in your glutes. Lean to the left. Bend the right knee, lift the right leg up, take it out to the side, into the air. Hold it up, Rover's Revenge. Drop it down, right leg down. Lean to the right, left leg up in the air. Keep it up, hold it up. There's that glute mead. Drop the leg, go to the second side. Up and over. Kicking the knee towards Victoria's desk. Keep it up, Tracy, keep it up higher. Good, Joan, good, Sandy. Your knee could be higher. Aaron, switch sides. Two more time each side. Guys, you didn't realize, aren't you glad you brought your butts to class? What if the butt has stayed in bed and I couldn't work it like this? Keep going, over to the side. Last time, beautiful, Anne. Over to the side, hold it up. And now release, stand, right foot up on the chair, hands on the seat of the chair, drop the head. So this could, this could be a lot. You know, I feel like for, for Aunt Kazma, this might not be doing too much. So Aunt Kazma, if you wanted to, you could start to move the back leg away and start to straighten the leg Come into a forward fold. Let's get her some stretch with the right leg a little bit straighter, right? So the leg is a little straighter. Straighten your knee on Kazma and move your butt backwards. Look at teacher. So you're not here, you're here. 
start just coming a leg straight. There you go. That's it. Straighten your knee, John. Come on forward. Come on out, Sandy. Good. Go ahead. That's it. That's it. That's it. Fold, fold, fold. Stay with it. Close the eyes. So are we just meditating in between the poses? No, you can have a meditative feel here with the head going forward. Stay, stay, straighten your knee a little bit more, Gwen. Good, 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 yak. Big stretch. So this is for yak's hips, low back. Mm -hmm. Good, now flex your foot more, yak. Flex your, there you go, because I want to get into the, uh, the calf. Relax your shoulders, Anne. Relax your jaw, Tracy. Beautiful, Aunt Sandy. And then release. Let's switch sides. Let's switch sides. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Second side. So first, we just start with the bend of the left. And you're, you're in kind of tight. And you hear you're just touching, touching the chair. Okay. Now, ironically, even with the left knee bent and you're stacking in at this shape, you can get quite a stretch if you drop your hands beneath the, the seat of the chair towards the floor. You could get, you could get a profound stretch there. Mm. Now, if that's not enough for you, hopping that standing leg back, start to straighten the left leg, pour your chest towards the thigh. Close the eyes. It's a big opportunity to both stay in a pose that is uncomfortable and then train yourself to breathe. Are we doing these yoga poses discreet from the rest of your life? No. We do these poses to get you into these shapes and then you take them out into the world. So when someone's pushing your buttons, when something is stressful, you breathe, right? We're using your body as your own laboratory where you're testing the limits of your nerves. These poses might be uncomfortable and then we stay in them and we find our breath. Similarly, when something's uncomfortable, we are mindfully staying with the breath. Stay in the forward fold, straighten your leg on Sandy. Straighten it, bring forward your chest, yak. Good, Anne. We're still here. That's it, that's it, that's it. Do you feel that at all on Chasma? Okay. Good. And then mercifully come on out. Rest on your back with your legs up on the back of the chair. Relaxation pose. Relaxation pose. Close the eyes when you get down on the floor and relax.
staying with the breath. And when your mind starts to wander as the mind is want to do, gently, compassionately steer your mind back to your breath. The allure of incendiary news stories, tales of extreme anguish and sadness are always going to plague us when we turn on the news, when we go out in the world. Joseph Campbell said, go out to the world of sadness with some bit of joy in your heart. And this will steal you, be a bulwark against any opportunistic people or events. When you walk with your head high, shoulders back, have a sense of what is around you at all times. Should you walk around slumped shoulders, looking dejected or distracted? No. When you breathe deeply, your shoulders back, a focused state of awareness, you're gonna have a sense of balance and inner poise. The muscles that we work, the way we strengthen your spine and your core makes you infinitely stronger to withstand the stress of daily living. So you're here with the breath, relaxing, feel the effects of your yoga. the texture of your breath, the quality of your breath. It is always with gratitude that I am serving you and creating these sequences to make you stronger, calmer, and steadier as you go out into the world. Invite friends, figure out anybody who might want to come to this class, the more the merrier. It's always an honor to be with you and serve you. Please stay as long as you like. I end class now. Namaste.